Good morning, YouTube. How the hell are we doing? Oh my God, it's been a while, hasn't it? It's been a while, but we are back and I am, I'm feeling motivated this time around to actually keep up to it. Like, I, I do think this time around things are going to be different. I'm going to keep up to this YouTube shebang. So, what are we doing today? Today's episode is going to be just basically just catching you guys up. Like, where the hell have I been? What have I been doing? And ultimately, title of the video, what are my new exciting goals, which I will fill you in on today. So, it is Sunday, the 2nd sec of June. How the hell is it June? How the hell is it June? Is POA is I have already got up at five. <laughs> Standard Sunday, plan a lion, never have one. Read my book in bed, Expectation Effect is what I'm reading at the moment. Insane book, couldn't recommend it more. Just been on a walk, haven't we? We've been on a walk. I don't know if Jazzy's been on the channel yet, but um, I think she has. Me and Jazzy have been on a walk. I love going on a walk on a Sunday because... Um, it's so quiet, it is so quiet, like no one's out, it is just amazing. And now I'm gonna have my pre-workout, if that's the right phrase, or pre-run. Might give you an inkling to what I'm doing. Uh, um, probably has given you a complete inkling to what I'm doing. Uh, pre-run meal, which is gonna be the same as my usual pre-workout. If you're on OG's the channel, you'll know exactly what that is. It's gonna be protein powder, blueberries, cream of rice, and dark chocolate. And then I will do some cleaning around the house for a couple of hours and then we'll go on the run and I will take you guys along for it. So sit back, relax, enjoy whatever the hell you're doing. If you have not already, like subscribe, like, comment, all this stuff. I know it's like the most generic cheesy shit ever, but it helps. And if I'm getting more views and more reach, it's going to motivate me to do it more. So just help a girl out, okay? Have a great rest of your day and I will take you along for the rest of mine. Right guys, it's time. I've done a lot of cleaning actually. I'm very proud of my productivity levels this morning. So it is time to go out on my first run of this mini phase goal that I'm on, which I will explain later in the video, but it is time to get ready. And honestly, I'm so excited. I am so excited. The sun, there we go. You can see it better now. Like the sun, it's just stunning day this is the view of my like little mini garden as well it is just a me so yeah i have to have this here otherwise jazzy eats my shoes she's eaten so many pairs it's ridiculous and then i have this awful shoe rack holder which i got i got for free to be fair so can't complain um so i have where are they so yeah i was recommended these by my brother and they are very pretty and they are very good now, I don't know if these are appropriate running trainers for me because I haven't had a gait analysis yet. I will go and get one done if I really take to this running, but they are the Zoom Pegasus ones. And I've literally worn them, as you can see, um, <laughs> once because I bought them when I had an impulse. So I'm going to run and then realised it was not the best thing for me. So, yes, this is the shoes that I've got. I also need to do some stretches, which... Oh, my coach has set for me. I will do those now and then I'm gonna head on my run. I look like a tomato. Well, I am um, red, but that was just amazing. I had the best time. It was hard, but not like hard. I think it's just extremely warm. <laughs> it's a lot busier than I thought it was going to be on the canal as well. So it kind of gave me a bit of pressure to, to do a good job running because there were so many people watching. But no, I had the biggest light bulb moment that I want to share with you guys on this run. So when I was on the run, I just remembered a conversation I had with my nana. So for context, if any of you guys are new, don't really know my story, I had a background of anorexia and I lived with my nana for a long period of time when I was going through that. And one day we were watching the London Marathon and she said to me, I can see you getting through this and doing something like that one day. You know, I can just see you doing it. And I remember completely laughing, one, because running, and two, at that moment in my life, like, I genuinely didn't think I'd get through it. And, um, yeah, that conversation just kind of, like, hit me in the middle of the run. Like, why Why do I want to run so much? What, what? What's What's the reason? And then, I nearly cried in the road. I nearly cried on the street, putting up my Instagram story. And I'm nearly crying now because... I don't think a run would matter that, you know. I don't think a run would mean that much, but evidently it has, so. 
Anyway, as you can see, I'm an extremely hot, sweaty mess. Like, this is genuinely, this lighting is awful, but I'm genuinely this red, so I need to go and get a shower. This mic's gonna die, this camera's gonna die, so I need to go and charge both, because I haven't been organized, and I will catch up with you guys probably when I make some more. For a glow up, look how much better I, I feel so good as well. I feel great. So now I'm freaking starving. I'm gonna go make myself some lunch. So what I'm gonna make is, I got a Gusto box yesterday. I got it ridiculously cheap, it's like 15 quid for five meals, which is actually 10, because you have like one, two servings per one, and it's just me. So yeah, I think that's pretty good. So I've got one meal I did. I actually made like them all yesterday because I just thought, right, let's just meal prep them all for the week so then I'm organized, I'm ready in my head. I had one last night, which I might overlay, which was just chicken teriyaki and it was amazing. But there's one that I haven't made, which is like some chicken wraps. And I think for now, that sounds like heaven. So I'm gonna go make those now. And um, yeah, I'm, I'm, the, I'm the terrible cook. I'm so impatient. So um, this should be fun, but I'm ready. I'm ready for some food. I'm absolutely starving. Like, I get why people like eat so much when they run because right now I could eat a horse. thing on it's quite actually hard to conceptualize because it's not like i am dieting for a photo shoot like i have in the past or training for a 10k i just needed some focus so obviously with my ha which is hypothalamic amenorrhea if any of you guys don't know period recovery journey i basically i'm still in it right even though i've had regular cycles i lost it but i'm gonna do another video on that all together because that is a, that will be like a whole hour of me talking um but realistically now i am having regular cycles it's back but you can't just go from ha getting your period back to then just going and doing what you were it's a bit like with fat loss right you can't do all these things to lose weight and then stop all these behaviors or you're going to end up back at square one i document this is even though a lot of you guys following this probably can't relate in the respect that you've you know you've got your cycles you haven't lost them a lot of the things such as, you know, me having to maintain behaviors, even though it's hard and be patient. Like, I think there'll be a lot that you guys can resonate with, like whatever you're doing in your own personal journey. So basically with my period recovery, I've had to strip back my training. So I was just doing free sessions and I was literally just going and doing whatever I want following a training plan. So, and then as times progress, you know, it's been like six, seven months of training like that. Like, I can't believe how fast it's gone. But yeah, it's probably might even be longer to be fair, which is mental. I just really got bored and just have no get up and go with my training. And I've, if you follow the channel and you follow me a while, you know how much I love my training. Love it, love it, love it, love it. Haven't been loving it, haven't been vibing it. Very much discipline over motivation sort of vibe. And I just wanted a refresh. And where this idea of running initially came from is I've seen a lot of people get into it, like Laura and Leanne have got into it. Loads of people that I follow on social media have got into it and I've just found it really like interesting and it's something different that I've not really considered. And I just kind of had these signs and urges and I don't want to get all like hippy dippy, but that's how it felt. Like it felt like a sign that this was the right thing to do. And I just had this vision when I booked to go, I'm going to Dubai again in November because you know, typical online coach going to Dubai. We've been able to just go for a run around the marina or on the beach and just be able to do that and just do things like that with my training. It would be so amazing. And this is where this idea came from that I'd like to get into running. And I just did a spontaneous treadmill run the other week and I just finished that run and just felt fucking amazing. And I've not had that with my training in months. That, oh my God, that was amazing. What a vibe. And I just thought, this is it. This is what I need to do. But I'm also aware that I can't just go into running and do, you know, couch to 5K or build up to a 10K or whatever, because it's going to be too much. I'm probably going to lose my periods from it because intense exercise like that is one of the worst things you can do. 
So I spoke to my coach and we come up with an agreement of taking away one strength session a week and doing other instead and just literally building it up slowly. And, you know, I'd love to be in a place where I can go and run 5Ks and 10Ks and maybe do some, I don't know, things in the future. But right now it's do this run, don't lose the cycle. And it's just got to be like monitoring that each month. We build it up and the cycle stays, happy days. If it goes, we taper it back. And I'm, I'm really accepting of that because my health comes first and I'm just, I'm completely cool with that. And what I'm doing with my other two sessions is I am actually following a structured plan now and I'm gonna aim to slowly progressively overload and just focus on getting freaking strong. And I did my first session of that yesterday and I really loved it. So I've just had two back-to-back -back sessions where I've just felt ace, like got that buzz from training again. And it's, it's so good to have that back. In terms of like dieting or anything like that, at this moment in time, I'm just keeping to everything I'm doing. And if in a few months down the line, my cycles are regular, I would like to step into a very steady fat loss phase because I'm not my most comfortable right now. But what I am is accepting that this is the body that allows me to be healthy, fit, strong. And for now, it's my best body. So that will not change for now. I'll be focusing just as I have been doing on fueling myself, eating plenty, eating a surplus to keep my cycle health where it needs to be. As long as it's something different, right? Like there's not many people documenting this. And in fact, I don't know anyone documenting this and trying to, you know, progress into a hybrid style approach of training whilst also aiming to maintain their menstrual cycle. Like you've got people documenting regaining their period. You've got people documenting, you know, road to the marathon, road to the half marathon, road to bodybuilding and photo shoot. There's not many people doing things like this. And because this is gonna require so much patience and discipline, and I can imagine there's gonna be some ups and downs and frustrations, I feel like so many of you guys can relate to it with whatever it is you're doing. So I wanna bring you along. And on that note, if there is anything you particularly wanna see on this, like, please let me know, because I will aim to bring a video out each week. And I wanna make sure it's stuff that you actually want to see.